What's up guys, Poppy here bringing you a video today on how to get exalted with the nether drakes, or the nether wing I should say, and get your nether drake. Uh, it, first things first, come to Shadow Moon Valley. Shadow Moon Valley, just below BT, you're going to find a guy named Mordani, or Mordani. He's going to give you a quest that's called Kindness, and you're just going to need to feed some nether drakes. It's a very easy quest. Um, you just kill some of the flares that are around the crystals, get their meat. Uh, put it on the ground for the nether drakes to eat and you're good to go. Um, once this quest is done, you're going to hand it to the same guy who just happens to walk around these crystals. He can be a bit of a, a bit of a bitch to find every now and then, but uh, just pay attention to your map and see where the question mark is. Once you hand this one in, he's going to tell you to go talk to a dragon that's uh, flying around in the sky. Uh, the dragon can also be a bit of a bitch to find. Um, he flies around in a sur sort of a circular rotation. And if you don't happen to see him straight away, you're going to spend a little bit of time looking for him. And it seems like he doesn't phase in very quickly. Like, you have to get close to him to actually see him sometimes. Might just be my PC, I don't know. And he'll give you a quest just to talk to him and learn the lore, basically, about the situation and what's to which, uh, which situation he's in. Um, just skip through that. You don't need to read it all, obviously. I mean, you can if you want to. There's nothing really bad. I think it's a decent story, actually, if you're interested. Um, once you uh, hand in that quest, he's going to give you a request to go down to the encampment down here and kill 10 orcs. Not a big deal. At 9, you're going to be one-shotting everything anyway. It's not not a problem whatsoever. Um, once you kill the 10 orcs, he wants you to go collect crystals from the island. This island is where you're going to go later on to do your dailies and do most of your farming for eggs. So just remember where this is because you will be coming back here shortly. That's what the crystals look like. You're going to find them around the crystal formations. Not a big deal, guys. Very easy to farm. I think you only need about 10 of them. Once you hand that one in, you're going to go back down to the encampment and free enslaved nether drakes. Now, how you do this is use your item in your bags and just right-click on the drakes. Do not attack the drake or the drake uh, master, I guess is what it would be called, um, before using the item. Because the idea is you have to help the drake kill its master. And that's actually how you get the uh, the uh, I get the, uh, the completion. That's how you get the completion. I came in and I killed the master and then I tried to uh, free the drake and it wouldn't work. You had to free and then kill. Uh, once you've done that, you'll go back, hand in, and he's going to give you a quest to go and free his mate that is actually enslaved in the same encampment you were just in, freeing those nether drakes. Um, to do this, you'll have to kill a boss that at 70 required a uh, five-man group. But again, at 90, you're probably going to two-shot this guy. It's not a big deal. He spawns right there in front of you. Uh, kill him, he'll give you a key, and then all you have to do is free the dragon you just talked to. Um, there will be archers uh, above you that um, <clears throat> that will be shooting you at all times, but again... Not going to be doing much damage, guys. Uh, very easy to kill. As you can see, I just two-shot it. As soon as he dies, the archers stop. And then you free free the dragon. Very easy quest. Again, the quest... Uh, this is the easy part, guys. This is really the easy part. Um, the only problem I had while doing this is I'm on quite a populated server, quite a populated realm, and I had Horde um, killing me and attacking me. And even if they didn't kill me, it slows you down, you know, when you're on a PvP server and you got several people attacking you. So once you do that one, she's going to fly you back down to where the Mordani, Mordani walks around and her mate will be down there. You'll hand one quest in, uh, pick up another quest, and then you'll have a quest that just asks you basically, do you have epic flying? Uh, or do you have flying? And if you say yes, which you should do, to, you have to have that to be doing these quests, by the way, guys. So you hand this one in and he's going to say, do you have flying? And then you can just hit complete quest immediately. I, I skipped over it really quick because I didn't even realize what it was. Um, also, a cool transmog shield, if you guys are looking for a transmog shield. I don't know what classes you're playing, but very cool transmog shield and a couple of nice daggers. Again, a lot of this BC stuff looks pretty good. We can find most of it in, um, in Black Temple. So that's the quest there that I just handed in that says, yes, I have Epic Flying. And so he'll give you another quest to go to your quest hub, which is right here. Once you're here, you pick up, hand in, pick up, hand in, pick up, hand in until you're on dailies. The quests for the dailies are very easy. You'll get a profession-based day uh, quest as if you have a profession. For instance, I had skinning, so therefore I did skinning-based um, uh, quests, which was just collect 35 skins of a certain animal or whatever. So depending on your professions, you will be able to do different quests. I also come into this cave to get quests and do dailies. There's two dailies down in this cave. You'll get a quest to come in here. Got to come in here once you uh, when you start. So it's not hard to find. That's why I'm not showing it. Also, if you're a miner make sure to mine these minerals right here 
every mineral rule like this has a chance of having a nigga in it. Unfortunately, I was not a miner. And I'm going to show you right here what you need to keep an eye out for and what you'll be farming later, which are these eggs. Once you've done the dailies, these are the only things, the only things you can get and use uh, to get reputation. Um, and to farm them, they're just everywhere. When Just keep your eyes out at all times while you're doing these quests and while you're doing dailies, and you'll find them all over the place. Also, the mobs you kill have a chance of dropping them. So for me, it was no problem, um, no problem to find a bunch. Even though um, there's a few people on my server and a few people uh, collecting them and farming them, I found probably during my dailies, I found about five, five, six, and they give 300 rep each. I did not do this in one sitting, guys. I did not do this in one sitting. Do not attempt to do this in one sitting. The dailies are the main factor here for rep. If you want to get it in one day, I mean, sure, go ahead, but it's going to be a pain in the ass to farm these eggs. They are pretty rare, and, the, and I was lucky to get five um, while I was doing my um, questing and rotations. And if you're thinking, like, oh, I'll just look up a, 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 a place to go to farm these, they spawn everywhere, but they spawn very little. They spawn very little. It's almost better to um, to just kill mobs for them, I found. Like, I would have more drops of eggs than I would have actually finding eggs. So they're not spawning all the time. But you can get lucky. Like, I think towards the end when I was in the cave, I um, found probably about six. Six at one time in the cave. Had all spawned in the cave at once. And I was just lucky to have found that. You know, I and again, it helps if you play at, say, off-peak times or just happen to get on when they respawn and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, enough of that. When you get exalted, you're going to get a quest, or you're going to get your achievement, and you're going to get a quest to uh, basically just go talk to the guy directly in the house behind him. Very, very impossible to miss. He'll come out, and you just stand with him while he talks to Illidan, and Illidan says, basically, you're an idiot. This guy isn't actually one or with you or an orc. He will stun you and turn you back into a human, and once he turns you back into a human, the guy's like, I'm going to kill you. You think you're going to die. Uh, but then the dragon, the... Goblin will turn into a dragon and put you on his back and fly you to Shat. So don't, like, what I was about to do when I handed in this quest was mount up and fly to Shat because I was itching to get my Drake. But if you do that, you won't actually be able to buy your Drake because you need to do a quest hand in which you do from flying on the Drake's back. So wait for a second here and you'll get on a dragon's back and it's very, very easy to miss, I found. If I mounted up there and flew away, I would have, you know, fucked myself. So wait here. Wait, 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 wait. A lot of talking, a lot of talking, a lot of lore, and bam, you're on the dragon's back. This guy's going to fly you all the way to Shat. Uh, and it does take some time. Um, but again, you're probably itching to get that Drake. If you're like me, this is like this is a week later, you know? This took me about a week to do because I actually did the dailies. I didn't just farm eggs. I did the dailies, which is I recommend doing. Don't go at this like other farmable reps. This is technically a farmable rep because of the eggs, but I don't consider it one because the eggs are such rare spawns and such little drop rates on them. And so many people are doing it. It's hard to do when there's so much horde and so many people there. So I just ended up doing dailies, a little bit of egg farming a day. I went away, did, some, did dailies the next day, a little bit of egg farming, and just treat it like that. Like, while you're there, have a look if there's some eggs that are spawned. If not, go away, do the dailies the next day. Just do it like that. Very simple, very easy to do, and uh, won't kill you if you do it that way. Now when you get here, you're going to hand in the quest, and you'll see all the drakes around you pop up with quests. That's just because you can choose what color you want, but don't don't worry about doing it. This is going to be a free drake. Once you choose the quest and hand in to get your color drake, you can go back to Nether, Netherwing Ledge up where you were doing your dailies and buy them there. All the other colors, I mean. You can buy all the different colors there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Pipo's Guides. I uh, hope it helps, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good day, have a good life, have a good year, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.